Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, just in case you're wondering why I have like the same exact makeup, this is because I just filmed my Fat Bitch Friday look. So I'll go ahead and leave it linked up here just in case you guys are interested in a tutorial on this look that I have going on here. Um, yeah, anyways, I was requested to do my must-have products, my favorite products, so I thought I would film that for you guys today, and while I have my makeup done, like, why the fuck not, right? So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing my must-have products, of course, go ahead and keep on watching, but as always, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up, because I'd really appreciate it, and make sure you guys subscribe, so if you guys want to see my must-haves, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so getting this started, oh my gosh, I already feel like this video is gonna be so long. I'm not gonna do all of them, because there's so many must-have products that I have. Like, if you guys were to see my makeup bag, it's ginormous. You know what? Hold on, let me go grab it. This is literally my makeup bag. It's the size of a fucking purse. It's huge. Like, so much shit that I carry because I'm like, I like to change up my foundations and then I like a couple different primers, a couple different powders. So I keep it all inside there. That's just my personal bag that I may possibly use on a daily basis. So, there's so many products, but like I said, I'm not gonna go through them all because it's just gonna take forever. So if you guys want a part two, you guys let me know and I'll do a part two for you guys. But let's go ahead and jump into the ones that I selected for today's video. So my new current must have, which I'm actually wearing right now is the Maybelline Fist Me Foundation, you guys. I love this foundation so much, like six bucks and it's amazing. It makes my pores look so good. It's just amazing and six bucks, come on now, it's great. Um, I use a normal to oily one and I'm in the shade 222. Next for foundation is my favorite, you guys. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys already know about this one. The MAC Full Coverage Foundation. Literally, I've been using this since I was 17 years old. And yes, I may try other foundations, but this is always my number one go-to. I absolutely love this one. And I'm in the shade NW30. This is great if you like really full coverage because this literally covers everything. And for primers, literally my two favorite primers that I've been using for such a long time now. This one actually I've been using for about a month or two. I absolutely love it. But this one I've been using for about six months, which is the Hangover Primer. Is this even focusing on this? Can you guys even see it? Let me like put it right in front of my face. The Hangover Primer anyways. I'm sure you guys know which one it is. And the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. This one right here, it doesn't say that it like diminishes the appearance of pores, but let me tell you, it does. I absolutely love it. So I use this one when I want to be matte, and I use this one when I want to be a little bit more dewy, but they're both amazing, and I'm cheap, so I buy the little travel size of this one, and this is the large one, because that's all they had. Another product from Too Faced that I literally cannot live without is the Too Faced Glitter Glue. Okay, this is amazing for like, uh, say for example, like even for glitters, I guess too, but I do like to use duo uh, glue for glitters, but this is really good for pigments. So any type of loose shimmery pigments, this is amazing it keeps them in place and literally keeps it there all day without making it like chunky so I absolutely love this product right here okay and this you guys the Rihanna beauty sponge I don't know what it is or like why but for some reason I love it better than my beauty blender as you guys know beauty blender is like my favorite damn thing ever but for some reason I don't know why I feel like the texture of this is softer than the beauty blender I'm probably just tripping I don't know but I fucking love it I love the flat surface it packs on my foundation. I said that so weird. I'm like, it packs on. It packs on my foundation and I absolutely love it. So this is bomb and it's $16. Cheaper than a damn beauty blender. Okay, and then next, my must-have mascaras. Recently, they sent me this one, the Buxom. Buxom? I don't know how to say that shit. Buxom. The plumping mascara. This is the one called Big Tease. I absolutely love this one. If you guys like your lashes separated, then you will love this one because the brush is like very, very stiff. I'm sure you guys can't tell from there, but the brush is very stiff, so it separates slashes bomb, and it builds length and volume. And then my number one go-to since for like ever, I've been using this shit for like a year now, the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. If you guys have me on Snapchat, you guys hear me talk about this all the damn time. It's literally my favorite product because I love how small the brush is on it, so it's great for bottom lashes, but great for top lashes as well. So yeah, these are my two current like faves of mascara. And this product right here by Makeup Forever, if you guys have me on Snapchat, you guys know I always talk about this one as well. This is the Lip Booster. This is the tinted one. You guys, the shade of this is so pretty because it looks like a natural lip color. I don't know if you guys can see from there, but it adds the tiniest tint and it feels amazing on your lips. So if you guys have really dry lips, this is so bomb for you. Don't think of this as a primer though. Just think of it as like a lip balm. So it like boosts your skin, I mean your lips um, hydration. It feels so amazing and this is actually my second one. They did send me one, but then I went out and bought another one because I use it so damn much, but I love it like, oh, it's literally, I use it every single day, literally every single day. And my must have concealer, I'm sure you guys all know this. This is one product that everyone fucking hypes and I know people are like, oh, people hype about it. I don't know if it's good. 
you guys, if you guys ever get the chance to try this out, it is literally the best concealer I've ever tried in my life. It is full coverage. If you guys like full coverage, then you guys may not like it. And it is a little, little bit drying. So if you guys are severely dry, I wouldn't recommend it. But literally, I got my mom using this, my sister using this. This is literally everyone's new favorite concealer. And I absolutely love it. It stays on me bomb. It gives such good coverage. And you only need a tiny, tiny little dot. So a little goes a long way with this. Um, so honestly, you guys, believe the hype on this shit. I use it literally every day that I'm gonna do like a full coverage look. Obviously like on everyday basis, I just kinda like wear powder. But yes, whenever I'm gonna do full coverage, I fucking love this. And then speaking of powder, my MAC Studio Fix powder. I literally, you guys should see how many of them. Like even just sitting right here on my desk, I literally have three of them. This is my favorite damn powder. I've used it for years and years. This is actually my first makeup product that I ever bought when I was 16 years old. I went to the MAC counter and got a MAC Studio Fix powder. I'm in the shade C4, you guys like oh my gosh and I just bought this one. Oh, oh okay you won't be a bitch I just bought this one like two weeks ago and I'm already touching pan because I use it literally every single day like if I'm gonna run errands or something and I don't want to put on like a full thick foundation this is what I use this is my baby I've been using it forever and I honestly don't think I'm ever gonna stop using it the next product you guys hear me talk about this all the time the mineralized skin finish from Mac I use the shade medium tan as my bronzer but right now I have on the shade dark because look how ooh, I was going for a real tan look. That's why my contours and cheeks look really like strong right now because I was too damn lazy to get up and get my medium tan. And I was like, oh, this is sitting right here. So let me throw this on. But yes, the mineralized skin finish is absolutely amazing. I use it all over my face too sometimes to set my foundation. I'm in the shade medium golden in that. Just in case you guys are ever wondering, and I know I'm so bad about saying the, the foundation names, the shade names, all that shit. I'm so fucking bad at that, so I'm trying to get better. But yes, this powder right here, I use it as my bronzer and it leaves the most gorgeous fucking sheen on the skin where it's not like a mineral powder from like Bare Minerals where it's like shimmery. This just leaves a sheen, so it gives that like natural glow from within. I absolutely love it, and if you guys haven't tried it, I highly recommend you do. You guys know I use this in literally every single video, and I'm sure everyone gets tired of me using it because it's the only bronzer that I use. Um, this is technically not a bronzer, by the way. It's a setting powder, but I actually just use it as a bronzer because I love the finish that it gives on my cheeks. So, yes. Anyways, I feel like I'm talking so fucking fast right now. I don't even know why. I think it's because I'm hungry, and I'm sitting here like, let me hurry up and finish this video because I'm fucking hungry. So, anyways, let me stop rambling. Next is my favorite setting powder. So, now, when I'm wearing my full coverage foundation, and I'm like, fuck, I can't add my studio fix on top of it. My setting powders. These are both Ben Nye. This is the Cameo. This is the luxury one. And this is the Fair. So basically what this is, is I noticed that the Cameo one stays on better. It kind of stays put, adheres to the skin. And this one right here is really good for baking because you can dust it off. And it's not as, I don't want to call this thick because it's not thick at all. But it doesn't like stay on the skin as well as the Cameo one. So this one right here is just a little bit more sheer. This one, like I said, I don't want to call it thick. But it stays on the skin better if you catch my drift. So yeah, both of these powders, amazing. And a Another of my must have, if you guys watch my tutorials and videos all the time, my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Literally my favorite eyeshadow primer ever. I literally use it every single day and it's amazing if you guys crease because if you guys put this in your crease, you, you guys will not crease with this. Unless you're like severely oily, then you're gonna crease with it. But with me, my lids get pretty damn oily and this does not crease. It stays put all day and it does come in different shades. So if you guys do have a deeper skin tone, then you could get like laying low or something like that. There is a deeper shade. This is the one that I use right here, which is pretty damn close to my skin tone. But this is my favorite fucking primer literally for like the past, I would say six, years or so absolutely amazing you guys know i use it all the time so yes that's one of my must sets all right and for brows now this is something that i use all the time you guys can see like how low i'm going into it this is the makeup forever little brow sculpting brow palette i absolutely love this i use all three shades of this basically i create my own ombre with it so i'll start in the front part of my brow with a slight shade here then go in the middle of my brow with the medium shade and then with a the darker shade i'll go take that on the tips and then i use the wax a lot because my anastasia dip brow it gets really really dry so i put the wax in there and that makes it not dry so that's a little tip for you guys if you guys have any brow palettes that have wax in it just put that on side of your on side inside of your um, Anastasia brow dip brow shit that gets dry and it'll like make it way better the next brow product is the Anastasia brow whiz pencil I absolutely love this pencil I've used max pencils for like ever but I do like the texture of this one better because you know what I feel like with the Mac one they're a little bit too waxy so it kind of like lays the hair down and this is not waxy at all it's almost like a brow powder in a pencil and I love this one so this is on there as well I say this is on there like the fuck like oh my list my list of my must-have things is what I mean um, all right next is highlighters let's go ahead and go over the highlighters 
you guys like this is you guys know I love my sauce box one you guys know I love my makeup forever one but I want to talk about specifically drugstore ones because they're just so affordable um, like I said if you guys want me to do a part two I will do a part two and then I'll throw you know my higher end products in there but this is just so convenient and so bomb so I thought I would throw it in there this is the Maybelline master chrome uh, metallic highlighter and this is so bomb I love this one the only thing I will say though is that I do wish that they had more shades because them just having one shade is like why you guys are Maybelline like I'm sure that's like a billion dollar company so I'm sure you guys can come out with more shades than one but this is bomb and my literal favorite drugstore highlighter the wet n wild ones you guys they killed it with this formula it's so soft and so buttery I have the shade uh, precious petals and crown of my canopy and these two right here you guys mix together are oh it's so bomb and I think they were four dollars four dollars and they're just like Amazing. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear it numerous amounts of times. I wear this almost every fucking day because the finish is just so bomb and it gives that that like wet look. Um, so yes, only four bucks and I love these. Okay, and then setting sprays. I can't live without my setting sprays and you guys, Too Faced fucking kills it on the setting sprays. The hangover one, oh my god, I actually spray this on my face before I go to bed when I'm trying to get like a deep hydration because I just feel really hydrated and refreshed when spraying this on. It feels so bomb. But then the mattifying peach mist, you guys, oh, not only does it smell amazing, I mean, both of them smell amazing, don't get me wrong, but this one right here, it is literally mattifying and I noticed such a huge difference with my makeup. If I spray this on before I hit the road, it literally keeps my makeup on longer and keeps me more matte and I fucking love it. The only thing about these that I do not like is that they are $32, I believe. $32. Now, I know Too Faced is like, I don't know if you guys would consider it like a higher end brand, but it is a higher end brand to me. So that's why I'm like, 32 bucks is pretty damn pricey. I really honestly feel like they should be like, I don't know, 22 bucks, not fucking 32. But honestly, I'll pay the price because I fucking love them. All right, and the last thing on my list right here, like I said, I said this like five times throughout this video. I probably have said it more than five times. If you guys want me to do a part two, I totally would because there's so many products that I love, you know? So many products. There's more products that I love than, than which I hate. What the fuck is that? Oh my God, that's a spider. Oh, hell no. Ooh, off topic. Um, anyways, yes, there's more products that I love than more products that I hate. So that's why I'm like, this list could go on four days, literally. But yes, the... Um, Urban Decay Makeup Meltdown Removing Spray. You guys, you guys know I love my coconut oil and I do like it, don't get me wrong, but this right here, cause I feel like sometimes the coconut oil like doesn't remove everything and I gotta put in a lot of work. This right here, it should be in a bigger bottle. Like I feel like it should be this big and that would be great. Um, but this, I just spray it on and I let it sit on top of my skin for maybe two minutes. And then I just take a wipe, literally one wipe and it takes it all off. I absolutely love this so much and I do like the stick as well too as you guys know I did do a review on that I'll link it right here some somewhere so you guys can check it out I do like the stick as well too but this is just so much better it takes literally everything off so this is something that I use every single day that I have makeup on and I'm low right now so I'm like fuck I try not to use it that much because I'm so cheap and I'm like coconut oil is like seven bucks and this is like 20 bucks but this is worth it, especially when I get home drunk and I'm fucking tired and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to eat my food and take off my makeup. I'm just like, fuck, I spray it on and it takes everything off. So yes, that is my last product. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, I forgot. This one shadow specifically, um, what the fuck am I talking about? That was not my last product because there's shadow palettes too, duh. Sorry, you guys. Um, the shadow that I use all the time is Shell by Dose of Colors. If you guys ever see me with like my basic bitch kind of look where I'm just like a little like champagne sparkle on my lid and smoky browns in the crease. I literally always have this on my lid. This is the color shell, duh, I just said that. I'm repeating myself, I'm thinking about food so much right now, you guys. But this shadow is absolutely bomb. I will say though, why the fuck is it 20, I think it's $22, why the fuck is it $22? Like, come on now, You, it's so small. And honestly, you guys, it comes with this little primer and this primer can just fuck off. Like, how about you give me the whole tube of the actual, um, the little pigment that's in here because the pigment's bomb and glittery as fuck but this I don't like I feel like it makes my eyeshadow like smear and smudge and run off I don't like that but the actual pigment is bomb as fuck they just need to lower the price all right guys and then for shadows uh, as you guys know I don't even like mentioning her stuff on my channel because I'm tired of her not supporting fags like me but this is something that i do use almost every day i absolutely love this shadow palette I've, I've talked about this so many times on my channel i just feel like it's something that i use all the time you know what i'm saying it is a good eyeshadow palette and if you guys like 
By the way, this is not cocaine on my palette. This is fucking powder. I put my powder on there before I put it on my face. Anywho, um, the reason why I always talk about it is because I do use it all the time. So I don't want to lie and be like, oh my gosh, yeah, I use this other palette all the time when it's like realistically I use this all the time because I love my pinks and then obviously I love my warm tone browns. But, oh, just spilled all that powder all over me. But yeah, I do use this all the time. I love it, honestly, you guys. But um, I just, I didn't buy the Desert Dusk one. As you guys know, I really fucking, I wanted to buy that so bad. But I was like, you know what? I gotta stop giving her my money. If she's not supporting us guys in makeup, then I'm just not gonna do it anymore. And after my last video, I did notice that she did post like two more guys, but then that was like two weeks ago and she posted two guys and then stopped. So I'm just like, you know what? If she's not gonna be consistent with it and actually like try to help us break down these fucking beauty molds, then I'm just not gonna support her. So yeah, but I do like that palette though. I did buy that before I was like woke, you know? I was a little bit oblivious back then and didn't pay attention to that, but now I do. And the next palette is the Morphe 35 O. This is another palette that I literally use like all the time. It's kind of like one of my go-to warm palettes. I'm sure everybody has seen this. And you guys, I think this was only $20. Literally every shade that you need inside there for uh, warm tones. Um, I will say that it could use some more shimmers, but as far as mattes, I do love it. So yes, that is my final product right there. I'm sorry if this video is so damn long. It's just there's so many products that I love and I literally, like I said, I can make a two hour long video talking about my favorite products um, because I'm looking at some right here too that I'm just like, no, let me stop, let me stop, okay? <laughs> so those are all my current must have products, products I can't live without, my babies, stuff that I keep inside my makeup bag literally all the time and that I use on a daily basis. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel because that'll really help me out and let me know if you guys want a part two because I'll definitely do it for you guys. So yeah, with that said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.